Hi, Scott from Johnson Window Films here. Today we're talking about solar energy and how much is possibly rejected because we get questions as to whether or not window film could reject 90% or 95% of the heat. Well, when it comes to heat, that's just not true. Well, I thought we'd review exactly how window film works. Take a look at it with some ceramic window film and talk a little bit about the terms that are used to describe that heat. First, let's look at a window with just sun hitting it and see what happens. By this diagram, you can see that when sun hits the window, some is transmitted, some is reflected, and some is absorbed. Now, if you add up the percentages that happen with each of these, and in this case, you can see clear glass has 76% transmitted, 8% reflected, and 16% absorbed. If you add all three of those up, they have to add up to 100%. We call that the energy balance. Now, key to figuring out what happens to heat is gonna be understanding what happens to that absorbed energy. Now, these red lines that are coming into the diagram represent what happens to that absorbed energy. It makes the window hot. The heat radiates inside and out. Some goes in, some goes out. And when we put numbers to this, you'll see that about two thirds goes out and one third goes in. And that's because of the air movement on the outside of the window. Whether you're in a building, there's always air movement on the outside, or certainly if you're in a car driving along, there's air movement to take heat away. Now, if we look at the numbers with clear glass, you can see the 76% that goes straight through, the 16% absorbed, and the 8% reflected. Now, that absorbed energy actually splits, and about 6% goes inside, and 10% goes outside. Now, how does that turn into a number you can understand or you could ask somebody about? If you take the 76% that is transmitted, and you add the 6% that is re-radiated inside, you get a total of 82%. If you add those two together, you get what's called the solar heat gain coefficient. And that is the percentage of heat or energy that goes into the building or car. The opposite side of it, if you take the 8% that is reflected and the 10% of that re-radiated energy, you get 18%. That's called total solar energy rejected. Now let's take a look at it with some window film on it. Here we've added our supreme 20% IR film, extremely high performing, as good as it gets anywhere in the window film business. Now in this case, you can see that 9% transmitted, 5% is reflected, but 86% is absorbed, 86%. Now that absorbed energy makes the window really hot. And what happens as the heat re-radiates out, about 28% goes inside and 58% goes outside. So if you add that 9% transmitted to the 28% re-radiated to the inside, you get a solar heat gain coefficient of 37%. Now on the other side, if you take the 5% reflected and the 58% re-radiated out, you get a total solar energy rejected of 63%. Now these terms, solar heat gain coefficient and total solar energy rejected, are long-standing standards for our industry. They've been accepted for people who do air conditioning analysis and building envelope analysis, and even the analysis of air conditioning in a car. Remember, two thirds is great. It's amazing performance for film, but that's about the best you're gonna get in a ceramic window film of any kind. We hope this information helps you elevate your business by aligning customer expectations with the truthful performance of your products and services. With a deeper understanding of heat rejection technology, business owners can guide customers to make informed decisions that maximize their satisfaction. Remember, the truth is in our film.